Okay, on the left hand side, we have a score that sounds like this. And on the right hand side, we have a video that plays like this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of composing in vision and sound part 37, throne, parallax, completion. In this episode, we re-entered by reflecting that having moved to a new computer, we are on a new computer, uh, fits with the something new emergent theme in our lives lately. We are thrown into a new set of circumstances and getting acclimated continuously. And we talked about the idea of parallax, which is seeing something from more than one angle. And the piece of music we've been working on, we call the Heart Riff Series. We, we just played a little bit for you. So, um, just speaking of the new computer, this is the new computer full display that we're on. It's called an ultra-wide monitor. So in the center, we've got our normal 1920 by 1080 log. On the right-hand side, we're monitoring OBS. On the left-hand side, we can see our files and our cameras there. But that's very hard to see when it's streaming. So we learned how to do this and just kind of zoom in there. We have been able to figure out our Muse score and our music animation displays. So, so we're chugging along with that. So the main thing that we spent a lot of time of working on was what we call the Heart Riff 5. Now, Heart Riff 5 consists of guitar, basically a, a, a lead and an accompaniment. And then we went and we shot this video footage. So we're going to play this video footage for you in, uh, on the right hand side. Here we go. So that's the video we made from this piece on the left. And um, it's called Heart Riff because it's based on memory of a song by Heart. Crazy on you, I believe. And it happens to be being played. This is annotated as if it's in C, but it is actually in, it's in written in A. We hummed it in A. So uh, the interesting thing is then we did Heart Riff 6, which has the same themes um, so let's play a little bit of this on the left-hand side. But then we played it through the MIDI animator. Watch for the orange. Right there. The orange is the one key that's out of the tonality of the rest of it. Basically, all of... Everything up here are the seven notes of A minor. This is the a note from A major. 
It's the urge, the major urge. So we spent a little time and we said, this is like a peacock or a pinwheel. The orange is like the tower that holds up the windmill blades of the seven minor notes. But if you flip it around, we figured this out, and you were playing all uh, major, then this green here would be the tower. It would be the minor urge. And then everything, uh, basically these two, this pale blue and this pale green would flip over to here. And, uh, and this would flip over. One of them flips to here. So it would still be a symmetrical peacock windmill picture, but the one out of tonality note is the tower that supports the tonality notes. Anyway, we thought that was a cool pattern, and we, and we saw that by playing it through the, the mini animator. So speaking of patterns, then we also decided to animate the um, Heart Rift 6, and we iterated on it, and we ended up changing the scene based on which of these three lines was playing. We call it the slow line, the fast line, and the color line. So to bring us home, we're going to play this full version of Heart Rift 6, but watching the animation. So that brings us home. What we like about the animation is having the three actors correspond to the three lines. But more than that, we iterated. When we first wrote Heart Rick Riff 6 today, in today's chapter, we animated it. And then we started noticing that these different color, the three colored actors were um, in some sense competing with each other so then we decide. So we went back and rewrote the music on the left hand side. So then we animated that, and then we noticed that um, there was a missing place where at the end, da, 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 it's like we wanted all three of them to come in. So again, we changed the part here and, and gave something for it to play. So we ratcheted back and forth, we iterated back and forth between the the score and the animation and the looking at the animation informed us to change the score and then the score already informed the animation because we knew we would have three parts. So we like that. I mean, this is composing and vision and sound is our series. The other thing that we like is that we're finally getting used to this new system with this major ultra wide monitor and figuring out how to work with that. Um, and we're sitting at a different desk and our internet got upgraded behind our backs. <laughs> well, we knew it was coming, but it didn't even cost anything extra. So, I mean, that was nice. So there's a lot of new stuff. Um, shout outs to Silent Lurker, Patient Worker, Dominic Z, who stopped by today and Enthused Persister, by golly. Um, our ideas for next time are post and share Heart Rift 6 and to be determined. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.